Welcome to Excel Basics number 10, part 4. And in video number 10, we used a pivot table to create a report from survey data. In this video, we're going to do a quick short about how to do the same report with the group by function. In the folder you downloaded and unzipped last video, we're going to open this file right here for this video. Now in Excel Basics 10, we took the survey data and created a frequency distribution where we have a unique list, the count, and the percent count. But we want to be able to do it with group by. Now let's see how the pivot table does it. Summarize value by is count. That means this feature can count and then show values as. It has no problem doing percent of column total. But this is different than what the percent of function does. F2. Two videos ago, we saw how to do group by, and we can horizontally stack two functions. Counta properly counts how many for each condition, but the percent of cannot handle counting. Here's what percent of does. It actually expects numbers, and it conditionally adds all the numbers in the numerator and divides by the total sum. So if percent of automatically is using the sum function, not count, we can build a helper column to simulate counting. Let's see if we can add a helper column over here, and then we'll add it directly to the values area in group by. What if I did sequence? How many rows? Well, I need exactly the number of rows that are in this data set. Control shift down arrow, control backspace, comma. I don't want columns. I'm definitely going to start at 1, and guess what? The increment or step is going to be 0. This will just give me a bunch of 1s. Now, if we use the sum function, if we were just counting these three no's, well, the sum of three 1s is the same as the count, divided by the sum of all of them. And that's the hack we're going to use. In fact, watch this. I'm just going to copy this in edit mode. Because remember, from two videos ago, any helper column we would have attached to the table, we can now put inside of group by. Control C, F2. And instead of a bunch of text values, which some doesn't know what to do with, click values, Control V. And there's our helper column of ones. Now percent of can do its internal sum calculation to get the correct percent of total. Count out works because it counts not empty cells. We could also use count because it just counts numbers, and it'll just count the ones. And we can use the sum function because then it just calculates the same as percent of, but only gives us the count for the numerator. All right, Control Enter. And now with a formula, we can do the same thing as a pivot table. Count and percent count. Whether or not we have text data or any type of data in this column. All right, that was some fun with Group By, and we'll see you next Excel Basics video.